What's up guys? I'm Jared Davis. And I'm Galen Parker. And this is another episode of Food Fight. This is Taco Edition. We are at an authentic taco place today. We've been, if you've watched some of our other episodes, we've gone all over the map, but everybody says for authentic tacos, it's Tacos Mexico. So if you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe. But we're gonna get right into it. What do we got? All right, so I got, I went barbacoa, steak, and chicken. Okay. Um, obviously we've got our verde and spicy sauce, so that's natural. Um, I love the way that she's ladling it out so you know that's extra good, so. So hopefully you've seen in the B-roll, there's a little tiny place, little hole in the wall for Jeff Davis in Richmond, right on that Richmond-Chesterfield line. Galen's already getting into the rice and beans. He's hungry. I'm gonna go barbacoa first. I have barbacoa pastor, because pastor is my favorite, and steak. And hopefully you guys can hear us well. We're mic'd up, but it's pretty loud and hustling and bustling in here, so we're gonna see what we got. We've got a little lettuce, little cheese, little sour cream, but again, verde, spicy. I'm gonna go no salsa first. They do home make their corn tortillas. The flour is not homemade, but looked delicious, so we did a little bit of a mix. I'm gonna start with the barbacoa on the corn. Did you do all corn or all flour? I did all corn. Okay, you did it the right way. I got one flour just to be subjective, but ooh, it's hot, steamy. <laughs> ooh, not a huge steamy. taco, but looks packed and full. It does feel packed, it's like heavy when you touch it. Oh yeah. I don't know how, like the lettuce right. and shredded cheese on top. Mm. Flavor, good. The lettuce and cheese on top, is that authentic Spanish or is that like Americanized? That's like gringo style, right? I can almost go without the lettuce and cheese. And you can definitely do, like, do without it. I can do like some cilantro or something, but the flavor. I love the flavor. It's great. Juicy, nice and moist. I feel like I'm tasting like, is that garlic? I don't know what that is. It's so good. I'm, I'm getting a little with the salsa now. Mm. The salsa makes it nice. Mm, add a little spice. We're gonna roll through these things. Extra spice, twice as nice. Copyright that. I love that even though they're kind of small, they're packed full of food. So they're kind of heavy and dense. So you're definitely gonna be full after mm. one. Okay. The spice is where it's at. All right, this one? Yep, the verde is good. The verde is authentic. It's not super spicy. Drizzle, drizzle, baby. Do you I'm want that? some uh, spice in there. And do you want the spice? Definitely get the, the red salsa as well. Oh, it's falling Galen apart. just lost everything. It's falling apart. Okay. Man, you just lost all of it. Oh, wow. I just went corn tortilla and spice. That's it? Mm-hmm. Really get that kick. <laughs> the red sauce is good. It's also not too spicy though. I don't know if they go anything hotter, but it's not overpowering, right? No. no. I'm going pastor next. Okay. So far, excellent. Also, so far, I would not, I would rather not have the lettuce and sour cream and cheese. Okay. I think it's a pretty authentic taco so far. I'd rather just have the meat and maybe some cilantro onion. I do like onion. the way that the sour cream and the spice play off of each other. Because it reminds you of Taco Bell. No, it does not remind <laughs> me. Nothing <laughs> about this reminds me of Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Pastor's next. Here we go. All right, I'm going to take a handful of steak on my fork. I'm going to take a handful of steak on my fork. Okay, how do you like it? I love the red color. It's so very good. That's good, that's good it's good pastor. So fresh. Everything tastes so fresh, and that's that's a big thing for me. I need fresh ingredients. All right, what are you going for? Steak. Uh, I'm gonna take this steak. I'm, I, I, I already know what the tortilla tastes like. I already know what everything else. So I'm just pure steak mouth. Just meat? I don't know. That's kind of cheating. You gotta get the tortilla no, with that's it. Not cheating. Is it good? Perfectly seasoned. I'm gonna go steak last. Again, no salsa, just sheer flavor. I like to just to taste the meat. Like I know the tacos are gonna be phenomenal because I've already tasted them. No, how was how was the, uh, the the flour? The flour is good too. Okay, I'm a I'm a corn tortilla guy when they're homemade. I love it, but their flour tortilla is really good even though it's not homemade. All right, I'm going chicken bite. I love using chicken as a metric because it's like because it's not that exciting. Well, no, because every <laughs> restaurant has them and everyone flavors them differently. Some of them are dry, some of them are juicy. These are extremely juicy. I'm just not a huge chicken taco fan. It'd be my last choice, but you always go take chicken, and I like it. 
Because that yeah. means every food fight we get a chicken taco because I'm never going to order I it. I need a baseline. All right. So, the pastor is delicious. The pastor is almost always my favorite at every taco spot. Okay. If they have it and it's done right. Got it. In this particular instant, I think the carne asada is the best of the bunch. Which How, one is your carne asada? The steak. The most recent? Okay. So, I think the way they've seasoned it is perfection. The barbacoa is my least favorite, but still delicious. It was one of the juicier, like, barbacoa brisket styles that we've had somewhere, because we did some brisket in some of the other places. Right. Um, sometimes they can be a little dry, you know what I mean? They can be a little tough. Not the case here. Authenticity is off the charts, so I'd say like a five authenticity. Five. This is where you come in Richmond if you want authentic Mexican tacos. Yeah, you're definitely getting a five for authenticity. If we're going sheer flavor, man. I'm gonna go four, four and a half probably. Yo quiero taco. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, I four, think that's spot on. Four and a half. Yeah, and say four and a half as well. So we're going four and a half. Flavor, I was not, there was not a disappointing bite. This is again, Tacos Mexico, it's Jeff Davis Highway, right between Richmond and Chesterfield. Come try it out if you want authentic tacos. Again, this is a food fight with Jared and Galen, living in Richmond. Follow, subscribe, like, let us know where you want to see us go eat next. Thanks for watching.